Beach in Detroit. David Webb and Eric Guster react to all of We will build a great wall along the southern border. And Mexico will pay for the wall. The Great Wall of Trump, the elites scoff knowingly, but actually most people kind of like it. Why wouldn't they? This week, Trump unveiled his immigration plan. How does it compare to Hillary Clinton's? That's the question. What would she do if elected? We'll tell you next. This is the legacy of President Obama and Hillary Clinton. It can't get any worse. To those suffering, I say, what? Do you have to lose in trying Trump? What do you have to lose? That was, of course, Donald Trump on the campaign trail, making his pitch to black voters. Tomorrow, he's headed to Detroit, where he's going to address a black church and tour parts of the city with Dr. Ben Carson. Here with Reaction, Fox News contributor and Sirius XM Patriot host David Webb and trial attorney and political commentator, our old friend Eric Guster. Uh, welcome to you both. So, Eric, Hillary Clinton said the other day that Trump was racist for bringing this message before a white audience. Now he's going before a black audience tomorrow. He's going to bring the same message. She'll probably call him a racist again. He probably is not going to win a huge percentage of the black vote. But what's wrong with this message? Pretty great message, isn't it? Like, it's not working. Let's try something new. Why no, is that bad? He, what he said was the equivalent of the work. You, you I, I want working? him to say exactly oh, what he said the right, right there so, again. So, so let's go to the issue and answer your question. Because I was in Detroit just a week ago, and I took a drive through some of these uh, these neighborhoods that are blighted and some of these you know beautiful old neighborhoods that have been raised, some of them, buildings closed up, business closed up. I look at some of the cities that have failed since the 60s, like Newark, New Jersey, Fifth Ward in Houston, parts of East LA. All across this country, we have seen failure by the so called promises from the Democrats to the black community. And frankly, the new, if I want to, let's call it what it is, masters of the black community with the Congressional Black Caucus. You look at the policies, you look at the failures, the failure in education, the failure in eco economy. You talk about urban flight where companies have fled from high crime zones. Yeah. Chicago just reached, yeah, let me now finish. Detroit, Detroit. Let me finish. Was, a, was an auto town, and and Detroit. a lot of the shift in the auto industry is what caused the okay, downfall. Okay, first of all, Detroit, that wasn't a dem but democratic let's policy. Let's look at the facts issue. behind this. Yes, but you, actually, you all are trying facts. to shift it. That's no, not no, a Eric, democratic Eric, policy Eric, issue. I deal in facts. The facts that behind is a the, fact. the facts behind yeah. Detroit. So let's talk about it. The fact, yes, I will if you let me. The facts behind Detroit is that it was predictable failure with the growth of union labor rates, the cost that auto manufacturers could not maintain, the fact that one right. No, I get, I get it. I mean, it's a familiar story, but the bottom line. Where did this come from, to your point? It okay. came from the liberal alignment with a lot of these unions, a lot of these that companies is, that, is that all cost true. the jobs. That's but, but the bottom line is you vision. can't look at Detroit or Chicago or Gary, Indiana or Cleveland mm -hmm. and say, you know what, good job, Democratic leadership. But let me ask you this. So I'm always the one who, like, why does Hillary Clinton think she has an absolute moral claim on all black votes? And she does, and she's basically said that. It turns out Hillary Clinton is from the Mississippi Delta. She grew up poor there. How do I know that? You thought she was from suburban Chicago? No. Listen to her talk and you'll know her roots. Watch. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. Now let me tell you, I'm aware I may not be the youngest candidate in this race. But I have one big advantage. I've been coloring my hair for years. Now, I'm sure there's more patronizing tape we could find, but I, I can't imagine what it would look like. That is the single most patronizing, awkward thing I've ever seen. I doubt if you'll find more because those are only two clips that, that are being shown. But they're unbelievable. But was, and and if I, Trump had talked that way, man, I wouldn't defend it. I'd be like, oh, that's nauseating. Well, it, 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 that's not a good take. That's a bad <laughs> quote. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Reality has just descended. No, no. You know, I always, I, I, I always shoot straight. But when you, well, we're talking about two candidates where Trump has 43% of white people think he's a racist. That is a problem for yeah, him. True. So if 43% of white people think you're racist, you have okay, a big first, issue. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you are a racist. And it's worth debating back. the core issues, I think. Let's get back to but the if you, core if issue use, of what we're here to talk about. racist okay, propaganda to Eric, promote Eric, I'd love to spend time on the deflection, make you, that does make but I want to go to the issue here, which is the black community.
community. We well, have gone, we have gone from too. a community back in the days of civil rights that had strong family structure, a growing middle class, fastest growing middle class in the early 90s because of college graduation was black males. Mm -hmm. We have gone to a community that has got a higher unemployment rate, a lower education rate, so and the young millennials. Saying? No, let me finish. No, I'm asking. Stop you. interrupting my point, it's, and it's I get to black. finish it. Let's go. Let me finish. When all those factors and more combine, you have failure in a community, and what Donald Trump is saying, shouldn't you consider another choice? And it's this simple reason. Blacks have given their unyielding support to the Democrats for 50 years, and there's a split. It's not a okay. monolithic block, but look at the urban blacks no. and where they are economically So, so Eric, I just want to ask you wise. one last question, and it's this. When you listen to Hillary talk, and you listen to Obama talk, I'm listening to you, and you really get the impression that the Democrats believe the single biggest impediment to success in the inner city is white racism from conservatives. Do you believe that? Do you really believe that? No, that's not the single largest impediment. What is? It is um, what is the single biggest impediment? Proper funding for education, among other issues, job job but, creations. But education is funded and as But I want more money than no, suburban me, schools. But let me finish. In reference to Trump versus Hillary, Hillary wasn't my first choice, but looking at okay. Trump versus Hillary, she is clearly the choice in this race. Can, can we just use the point Eric Buster made, which is completely wrong? The cost of education, which I've been reporting on for years yeah. now, has increased to some averages of twenty-four dollars to $28,000 yeah. per student in these urban environments where money not, got... Not let me finish. Let me finish. Where the money yeah. going into the education system has not been applied to education, well, but the growth of the administrative There's structure. clearly not a direct correlation so between how much we spend and the results. Right. I mean, it's not that simple, obviously. And one last point. This was the election that the GOP could have attracted the black vote, but Trump is definitely not the candidate. Look, anyone who runs is going to be racist because he has no, to be. The no, Democrats no, no, no. have to call you a racist, no, no, period. No, no. Like, I, the script on my radio written. show, I've encouraged people to split their ticket for years. Trump is not the candidate to But that's that. why you're sitting here, because you're a beacon of reasonableness and a sea of nuttiness. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it's true. Wow, the Republican <laughs> has to be. I mean, relatively speaking, you wouldn't no, defend that Hillary look, take. Look, let me say you. this to the black community. Stop giving away your political exactly. power to any party, and in this case, the Democrats, because they have nothing to gain and nothing they want. It's but true. Your Make vote. Vote it would have been your All solution. Right, vote for Trump. I'm being told that we're out of time. It's and don't vote for the vote. liar, Hillary Thank Clinton. <laughs> and Mr. Trump. Coming up next, right here on the Hannity TV Show.